Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Martin Cross Nation. And in today's video, we're gonna be going over the new updates that the uh, global version of the Union Cross Twitter page has just updated. They announced that they just released a new portion of the Kingdom Hearts website uh, in regards to the third anniversary for Union Cross, as well as have like a little timeline of stuff that will be appearing that we are expecting to see. Okay, so for today's video, we're just kind of go through it. Uh, so you guys are aware of what's going to be upcoming already here uh, and anything we might want to talk about. Okay, so first of all, this is what the main, the first part of the page looks like. It's showing third anniversary. I believe it was like the same thing, but it said second anniversary last year, so it's not really that too much of a difference. Uh, this is the current stuff we currently have, and then on the 7th, we're supposed to be receiving three different new things. So... That is kind of ex more or less exciting, hopefully, <laughs> to be expecting. Um, but first of all, the, I want to talk about that they're going to be uh, bringing in two days on April 4th is going to be the Special Trait Spirit Campaign, uh, where they'll be adding the new Spirit Training feature. And here they say, train your spirit for a chance to add special awakening abilities to your medals. Additionally, if you train your spirit at least 30 times during the campaign period, you'll earn exclusive spirit parts. Now, the JP version of the game already has the spirit training system in place already. Uh, now, I know a couple other content creators have already made videos about that, but I personally didn't want to make a video about it just yet. Because I, as usual, I like to have visuals. Uh, up on my videos when I'm describing stuff. So for me, I'm not gonna make a video describing on how it works exactly and my thoughts about it, blah, 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 until the feature actually comes out for global. And then once that comes out, I'll make a video on it. But for now, just expect it's coming. In a nutshell though, Think of it as kind of like a, a universal trait medal. It's a way to base, it's almost like their version of a universal trait medal, but in the form of spirits. It's it's kind of odd, but also interesting at the same time, but we'll, we'll touch more on that later when, when we need to. Um, but after that, they do announce as well that they're going to have popular avatar boards return soon. Um, and they give like a few examples here. B basically, expect any of the most iconic characters in the franchise um, to be featured as the returning avatar boards. That's what I'm expecting. Uh, I'm also expecting that most of them will cost about 1,500 jewels each. And they'll only be really needed to get in terms of accessories for looks, just purely for aesthetic reasons. Um, most of the, any old avatar board that's not currently up right now is more or less going to be outdated in terms of uh, like, you know, skills and, and stuff in them. So it's gonna be more, mostly for aesthetics than anything else. On top of that, uh, as we already know, we have the free draw tickets that we have and you can use your avatar coins uh, to purchase more tickets. It is 1,000 coins each to purchase a ticket. If you don't know where to go to do that, just go to the avatar board section uh, and there will be an avatar board itself where you can go and spend coins to get free tickets. Next up, they announce that they're going to have popular events return, saying that thank you for sharing your opinions. We've heard your voices and we'll be holding a Hades Cup and Organization 13 event in April. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I have no idea what the heck they are talking about when they say we've heard your voices. I don't know whose voices they're referring to here, because as far as I'm aware, nobody <laughs> or hardly anybody on Twitter or on Reddit really has been asking for this, okay? If anything, what has been happening is that they basically just completely murked the Organization 13 event. We don't even know if we're going to see uh, Shion appear for supposedly this month's Organization 13 event. We don't even know if this month we're going to even have an, ex an exclusive th uh, Organization 13 event. For all we know as well, they could very easily be replacing what's supposed to be this month's uh, Organization 13 She Own event with whatever this return Organization 13 event is, is whatever this is. Kind of like how last month they kind of just murked the Roxas Organization 13 event for like the 
uh, battle everyone again type event. It's very possible that that's what they're going to be doing. Um, and to be honest, the fact that they have this listed as like an anniversary thing, at least in terms of the Organization 13 stuff. Hades Cup, sure. All right. I, I guess that can be an anniversary thing. I, but definitely not the Organization 13. That's something that we should already be having, even if it wasn't anniversary. So it feels kind of like a cop out. They're just trying to make up excuses of stuff we'll be like, quote unquote, receiving for anniversary. Um, but other than that, they also are providing a special third anniversary wallpaper that you can download for your phone as well if you're interested in that. But other than that, we won't really be receiving any new updates as to what we will be receiving for anniversary itself until the 7th of this month of April. Expect the special trait spirit stuff on two days from now on the 4th. Uh, but other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.